failed the people of this country in fundamental ways. Today, crime is the highest it has ever been in our civilization. Today, homicides, we have about 16 on average compared to two under the Antigua Labour Party. My dear comrades, today, cost of living is extremely high. Today, the mortgage is actually now competing with your utility bills. Many of you have to sacrifice your mortgage payments in order to settle your utility bills. And they're the ones, that is the UPP, who promised you prior to the last elections that they would have done away with the fuel variation charge. Comrades, they lied to you. They deceived you. And you cannot afford them to lie to you again and to deceive you. My dear comrades, we must show them that we are intelligent, that we can discern right from wrong, that we know when we have been deceived. And let me state here, they do not have a track record on which to stand. And that is why, from time to time, year to year, decade to decade, they come with a, with a nastiness, my dear comrades, because they don't have no track record. At the next elections, what are they going to tell you? That they built a car park while Mount St. John remains shut? At the next elections, what are they going to tell you? That they spent $13 million dollars and school uniforms and a feeding program after being given 400 million dollars more in taxes my dear comrades i want to tell you something here tonight that the upp they are taking the people of this country for a ride they have asked you to tighten your belts time and time again while they're getting wider they're getting fatter they're wasting our monies and i want to tell you my dear comrades that when the Labour Party wins the next general elections, we will bring prosperity to this country. We will restore prosperity to this country. My dear comrades, we promise the people of this country that we will eliminate personal income tax. And that is a guarantee that we will eliminate personal income tax. And we don't need to introduce any other new tax measure. All we have to do is to control the wasteful expenditure and corrupt government contracting. My dear comrades, they are stealing left, right and center. What they did during the last 30 years is that they've given the people of this country the impression that we in the Antigua Labour Party are very corrupted and that they are clean. But look at the lifestyles, my dear comrades. Look at what has happened. During the past few years, they have become suddenly rich. And none of them have any business whatsoever. No business whatsoever. But yet still, they're all multi-millionaires today. My dear comrades, I want to warn you that if you do not do something about it, this country will disintegrate to the status of Haiti. We cannot afford to gamble with our future. We have to make sure that we end the UPP era at the next general elections. So I say to you, you cannot take anything for granted. There are many people out there who are suffering. People who do not have a proper meal, my dear comrades. People who are unemployed. People who are in poverty today. People who before had good disposable incomes are finding it very hard to live in this country. And that is why we say to you, that you got to stop the pain. You got to stop the pain, my dear comrades, and vote Labour again. We got to stop corruption in this country. And let me say here, my dear people, I heard, I heard our Prime Minister, let me just conclude here. I heard our Prime Minister saying that members in the Antigua Labour Party are corrupt and that members have bank accounts all over the world, including myself. I want to make this final point here tonight, my dear comrades, that if Baldwin Spencer could produce one scintilla of evidence that Gaston Brown has a single account outside of Antigua and Barbuda, barring a student account at HSBC in London, an account that has been dormant for over 15 years, I will resign immediately as the parliamentary representative of City West. And I want to tell you too tonight, my dear comrades, that I will get my attorney to write Baldwin Spencer for an apology. 
And if he doesn't apologize, I will sue him. We cannot afford them to continue to assassinate the characters of our people. Time is, time is up, my dear comrades. But I want to say here, my time on the platform is up. But the UPP's time is up. Time to go. Time to leave. Time to go. Time to leave. Thank you, my dear comrades. Come on, girl. John Brown, come and run the country. Give it up for your Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Gaston Brown. Parents, how you do? When I see you in the neighborhood, I feel assured. I will him off. Okay, I'm going for you. Anyway, anyway, you, 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 have a, you have a day. That's my sister. All righty, good. Don't forget, folks, I got to let you know, we're going to speed things up because we have to be out of here by midnight because Bennett. <laughs> Look, we can't believe for my brother. Put me under that kind of stress here. That Thomas Bennett say, I'll have out here by 12 o'clock tonight. Thomas Bennett sent me half an hour to out from my own place by midnight tonight. So we got to speed it up. So we're going to do that, all right? Up next, we want to call the man who's going to rescue St. Paul. You notice the rhyme? Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, brothers and sisters, allow me to welcome the man who's going to rescue St. Paul. I'm talking about... Paul Chet Green He's gonna take you beneath the surface and bring you right up to where you should be. Welcome him. Thank you, Mr. Master Ceremony. Comrade political leader. Comrade Deputy Political Leader. Comrade General Secretary. Fellow comrade candidates on the platform. Good night to every single person present here tonight. Of course, you know, I never speak to you. I have to always be careful and certain to welcome those persons who voted the other way last time back to the House of Labor. On Thursday night, we saw something we have never seen before. We saw persons running from the big bad blue wave. And here you are tonight. And it gives me or brings me back to mind the Bible story of Noah and the Ark. Where the safety of this country is now being found in the newly opened house of labor right here in front of us. People are still they're running from the big bad blue wave. And I've decided to be here tonight because it's safer with labor. I want to tell Baldwin Spencer, call the election now. Last election, all kind of shenanigans they have around Chakuwaku this and Chakuwaku that. Chakuwaku tell Baldwin Spencer, we say, Look at this sea of red and call the election now. The people of Antigua and Barbie are saying, we are running from that big bad blue wave and we're coming to the safety of the Antigua Barbie the Labour Party. The UPP is nothing more than an experiment gone bad. And as such, the word to Baldwin Spence and his gang is that time is up. Your time is up, time to go. The Guasa bus is ready. I hear Baldwin's president and I say that he has the election date in his back pocket. Of all places, in his back pocket. When you have a document that you want to read, you normally put it in your breast pocket. But Baldwin's president put it in his back pocket. And oh, how we see him last week, Thursday night, running